nice to look at. Nicer? <laughs> you can't see the water. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello those watching the replay. There's the ocean, but it's white. <laughs> can't see it at all, can you? Oh, there we go. Maybe I can turn a little bit. Oh, you know what? It's just because it's a cloudy day, so. Oh, then you don't see me very well, right? Let's just do this again. Okay. I'm just gonna share this. Once. Hello, who's popped on? Say hello when you come on. I'm going to see if this even. I'm enjoying the cloudy day, I have to say. I'm loving Hi, Mary. How you doing? I'm loving the cloudiness right now. It is so good. It's just nice to be able to sit outside and not be so, 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 so hot. Hi, Robin. I wonder if Robin's watching. Oh, this internet's probably not going to let me share. Maybe I'll share later. Because it is. Here we go. Okay, I wanted to talk about this. I did a really good video in Women Creating Healthy Lives earlier. So if you're part of that community, hop on over. If you are not, that is my community for women over 40. So make sure you come and join us there. And... Um, share. It's not going to let me share. What I wanted to talk about was the holiday eating thing and uh, because I know Halloween, Halloween, Thanksgiving just ended in the States and with Christmas coming, everybody's, it was funny because I've never stressed out over holiday eating, which is so crazy. And, um, but then a client of mine said, oh my God, I'm already starting to really worry about it. Hey, Robin, I'm already starting to really worry about holiday eating and on and on and on. And I'm like, wow, like what's there to worry about? <laughs> But <laughs> I know that. Um, and so that's what I just shared that. So what we're talking about is there's really why you stress is because you're feeling powerless because you feel. So the issue is not really that Christmas and holiday eating sucks and it's all terrible and everything. The real issue is, is that you keep letting yourself get pulled back into it. Right. And it's like because you keep thinking that you're powerless over what you get to decide. Um, now, this happens because, well, for one, the food industry and society and everybody wants us to be, just know they want you to be powerless. They want you to want that food and feel you need to have it. So know that. Know that you are being marketed to since you're a little tiny girl that no one can refuse this kind of food there's no way holiday season comes it means eating lots it means doing this it means these types of foods it means you eat unlimited chocolate it means you're going to gain weight it means all of these things right so know that that is conditioning it does not and never had to be that way it's all about choices um so for me you know usually i didn't have a problem with weight and i happen to love healthy food now, when I was in perimenopause, there was a time when I did gain weight and I made a choice that I was needing to lose weight. And so I made a choice of that. Okay, because this is what I desire to do. Um, you fasted. Wow. Good for you, Robin. You have, you're very good. You're a really good example of what I'm talking about. It's about knowing yourself fully and completely and knowing your goals, knowing what you desire, knowing being in charge, like being empowered, because I have a new program coming up called Empowered. So I've been talking a lot about this before. Being empowered is exactly what it takes to get through any situation. So when we, um, like that takes so much courage, Robin, and so much power, inner power and inner strength and determination. Plus your why. You have a very strong why. You have a very strong solid like I know the way I desire to live my life I know the way I desire to feel in my life and that's what I'm choosing so you make choices based on that the problem is most people do not have that base it's almost like a base or a foundation this it's like 
knowing yourself, coming from your inner strength, I guess you would call it, inner strength and knowing of how you desire to live your life, how you desire to feel, how you desire your life to be. If you never think about that, you're going to be floating around, being taken over by other people's energies, being sucked into this diet, into that way, being told what to do, spending too much time doing things for others, not spending time doing things for yourself because you've never really truly sat down and go, okay, how do I truly desire to feel, look, be, have? How do I desire my life to be like, right? And so you just float around and you just be followed by whatever carries you. And that's when people feel powerless. You feel powerless. You feel helpless over those foods or powerless over those foods because you don't have an inner strength or inner like um, foundation that's keeping you solid. I'm not sure how to explain it. But it's also not about all or nothing. You don't have to fast through Thanksgiving or Christmas. I mean, you can if you want, but you don't have to. So I never have. I've always just eaten some of that food and eaten a ton of healthy food at the same time. And that's what, that's why for me it's hard to understand because I'm like, well, I don't understand what the problem is because you just eat more healthy food, but you also get to enjoy some of those foods. So what's the big deal? It's people telling themselves stories that I just cannot help myself. Oh my God, I get around that food and I just have to eat it. And I cannot say no to the chocolates and I cannot say no to shortbread. All of those things, the more times you say them to yourself, the more they are real. You're just affirming and affirming and affirming and affirming that that is so. So you're keeping yourself in a powerless state. You are keeping yourself in feeling helpless. And then you just perpetuate and it just goes on and on, right? It is just, I want, you know, so that's my message is really like, know that it is not the Christmas season. It is not the women in the office who bring you that food. It is not whatever. It's no one's fault. It's you choosing to remain in a powerless state no matter how hard that is to hear. And it is basically a victim state. Um, I did a post yesterday about how I saw myself staying in the victim state in, in different areas. And that is the whole, I just don't know. I just don't know what to do. I don't know why I do this. Uh, why does this happen to me? This and that and that. And that's just like, and especially around the holidays. You know, we say that over and over again. I eat because I just get so stressed. I don't have time to make healthy meals because I've got too much to do and it's just such a stressful time of year it's just such a stressful time of year right all those things we say just add to it they keep it in they keep that situation thriving what you focus on expands right so those are the things that you got to think about especially during the holidays right um, it is crazy I mean food starts coming in the offices and in places in November right you got Halloween which is bad enough because you have all those candies and foods and then you have Christmas stuff right there the shopping the stores they know psychology they know that women tend to want to eat those things and grab those things they put them on sale they put them by the cash register right so know that and if you are somebody who continually says to yourself you can't control yourself this or that I want you to take a look at the words you use the thought things you the things you think the things that have been told to you the, the way your family talked uh, the way your family handled it the way your friends talk um, the way your co-workers talk all around you about those types of foods or why how they feel helpless or how they feel this so just take that all in and just become more conscious what words am I using what thoughts am I beginning to think right now? Am I already stressing myself out about the food? Am I already feeling like I've eaten way too much chocolate and now I have no energy? All of these things, we just do it to ourselves, right? You do it to yourselves over and over again. So that's what I wanted to pop on. It's just kind of a little reminder. Sometimes we need that little aha and awakening to go, oh, you're right, you're right. I can be in control here. I can choose what I eat. Now, like I said before, I, I'm, there's no Christmas stuff here, so I don't have to worry about that. But even in Canada, there was always stuff around. Absolutely. Now, did I choose to eat some of it? Absolutely. Absolutely. And did I probably ch eat too much chocolate during the Christmas? Yes. Not out of control. But I never would say to myself that I feel helpless. Or I, I'd always like, okay, today you ate too much. How does it make you feel? Didn't make me feel good. Tomorrow, I'm going to choose not to have any, and then I'm going to have more greens and more veggies and more juices. 
and then you know the next day I'm going to start maybe I can have one maybe I can have two but I'm not going to overindulge so that's kind of the way I did it that if I felt I did overindulge it would almost be like the next day it'd be like well then you can have you don't you can't have any if you can't um, do moderate then you're not going to have it Diana so that was kind of my incentive oh I do like my chocolate I do like my shortbread I make gluten-free ones so therefore if I only have a little bit of it I can continue to enjoy it <laughs> this is what I would say to myself but if I overdo it no then obviously Diana none right so that's kind of the way I talk to myself and then with dinners I would always make sure that I made brought whatever the big salads I would if I'm going to a Christmas dinner or a big dinner I would make sure that I ate really clean during the day and then when I went to that dinner I could be like okay I can eat whatever I want at this dinner because I ate super clean today and I'm gonna eat super clean tomorrow it's just one dinner it's no big deal right it's when you drag things out and so the turkey people this is again the powerlessness right the turkeys in the fridge the mashed potatoes in the fridge the gravies in the fridge so you go there the next morning you're like oh my god I just want a whole bunch of this and that's all I want to eat why not have a whole bunch of veggies or a big salad plus a little bit of that stuff on the side I think when you make it all or nothing you go oh my god I'm gonna eat huge amounts of this crap right now because I can never have it again right like things like that so then you're gonna overdo it why don't you just say like okay for the next few days I'm gonna enjoy the leftovers but I'm also going to have a lot of healthy food with it then you go you know I know I'm eating really healthy foods too I'm enjoying some of these potatoes or I'm enjoying some of the gravy you know that you never get to have right I'm enjoying the turkey whatever all of that stuff but you're only consuming a little bit as but as well you're also consuming a huge amount of the good stuff that's where you want to be that's the way you want to do it and then know that you are the one keeping yourself powerless if you continue to say that so hey it's all up to you right and um, so my new program empowered starts Monday and this is exactly what it's about when you feel empowered inside when you when you come from a really strong like foundation of knowing yourself knowing what your intentions are knowing your desires knowing what you um, how you want to live your life basically how you want to feel every day when you get that really clear then you make decisions from that place you make decisions from that place doesn't mean you always make the right decisions it's not about that and the right there is no wrong decisions I used to love beer I can't have it anywhere but I will go and have a cider I will go and have cider and french fries or something like that that's not a wrong decision it is a wrong decision if I eat day after day after day and I say forget the healthy food then that's the wrong decision right and don't put things off another thing I want to say is stop saying I'm not I'm not gonna clean up my eating until after Christmas or after the in the new year that's just absolutely the most stupid thing you could say that doesn't even make sense it's not all or nothing always helps to include more healthy foods no matter what time of year it is no matter what else you are eating with it include some healthy foods okay so my empowerment program is starting on Monday it runs 30 days yes it goes to Christmas but isn't that the best time to do it so that you are learning how to make this a natural part of your life to ebb and flow because life is inconsistent right life is always weddings get-togethers family barbecues dinner out with friends all these things come up if you continue say I'm not gonna eat healthy till after or oh I ate this with my friends that night so I might as well like eat shit for three days I mean that's just silly right so it's really about learning to make this healthy eating and living part of your life it is your life and coming from a very empowered place so that this is just naturally what you do because because you know yourself because you respect your body because you love your body because you know what you desire because you know how you desire to feel because you know how you desire to live your life now and into the future you know those things you're clear on them they are you and so then you make decisions from that powerful empowered place and then it's so much easier so much easier so that's my message around holiday eating is don't make yourself powerless not at all you have all the power you have all the choice and if you're just popping on watch from the very beginning because I do give some good tips on um, changing how you think 
Oh, hi, Cassie. You saw my mom today. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Yeah, winter's tough. I mean, you know, there's, um, I always worry about her being alone so much. And oh my God, I wish I could be there more. I wish I could just fly there for a weekend and come back. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad she has you there, Cassie. That's so nice. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you for watching too. I wish, yeah, my mom maybe needs to get on Facebook, eh? <laughs> All right, ladies, thanks for watching. And for those who have watched this and would like to be, you know, if it resonates with you feeling like, you know what, I really need to come from more of an empowered place in my life. And it's also, it's so powerful being empowered, like actually feeling so confident and empowered about yourself that you're actually able to make powerful decisions as in, you know what, it's my time now. It's time for me to spend time on me. It's time for me to take better care of myself. It's time for me to you know, put some of my needs and what I need in my life to keep myself healthy and happy. It's time that I begin to do more of that, right? This is a, such an important part of midlife because if you don't now, then when, right? Stop putting it off. DianaMarchand.com forward slash empowered to check out that. It's only $127 now. And like I said, in January, all my programs are going up. So if you've been thinking about it, now is time. Okay, much love to you. Have an amazing day or night, wherever you are. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.